Hello guys. So uh, welcome back to my uh, new Unreal Engine video uh, tutorial video. So let's create a simple locomotion system for the uh, mannequin character. So first uh, we need to create a blend space for the uh, mannequin character. Let's create one from using this uh, mannequin skeleton uh, let's rename as BSP basic locomotion uh, let's uh, make things also on the left axis as right and the vertical axis as uh, forward speed and let's make this as 500 to minus 500 and the forward speed also from minus 500 to uh, 500 <coughs> and let uh, create 10 grids so first uh, let's add this idle animation for the zero location and then let's use our retargeted animation from the Mixamo. So if you didn't watch uh, how I retarget uh, Mixamo animations, please watch my previous video. I will add the card. So this running animation. Uh, when we are uh, dragging these animations to uh, some of these uh, locations, so it will not uh, adjust to some. Uh, rounded location so to uh, adjust this location to a rounded location uh, we can do a uh, we can uh, press uh, shift key and uh, red so it will adjust its location and let's add this walking animation also uh, to like for the speed uh, 200 uh, let's uh, walking backwards also and running backwards let's left strafe walking to here right strafe walking to here and right strafe to here and left strafe to here yeah so by uh, pressing control and move uh, our mouse location uh, you can change this preview value and one thing i should say uh, we uh, need to uh, add the weight speed for this sample smoothing otherwise uh, the animation changing will not happen in smooth way so let's add the uh, value like 5 yeah uh, now uh, we have created our uh, bend space and then let's go to our animation blueprint so we have this third person character uh, let's find our animation blueprint from here uh, yeah, uh, this ABP many animation. So we have this locomotion system, and let's create a new state for basic locomotion. And here we need to return our newly created blend space. And we need uh, right the speed for and uh, forward the speed to do that let's go to our event graph and then get the uh, owning actor and let's get the uh, forward vector and right vector and let's get the velocity also so make a dot product from the 
right vector to velocity and forward vector. So let's uh, promote this as variable like right to speed and promote this as uh, forward to speed and let's add these values to our blend space and let's add this entry point to our uh, newly created state and then and also we need to uh, remove this control rig for now let's see this is working yeah uh, it's working with our new blend space and I think the arm length of this camera boom is too much let's reduce it to like uh, 300 and let's uh, change this mesh to many simple because uh, those animations are not fitting to a female character yeah it's now working so we have created the uh, left animation back animation and right animation so if we use this uh, basic template uh, we cannot use those uh, left and left right and back animation so to use them so, uh, we need to uh, remove the tick of this uh, orient rotation to movement in here so if we uh, untick this uh, we cannot uh, rotate our character so we need to do it manually so let's add event tick node and then set that uh, rotation and let's make our interrupt to so we need current rotation as the that uh, rotation and the target as a uh, control rotation and we don't need uh, this uh, all values to rotate uh, we only need to rotate the O value and also uh, we need to do this only we have uh, some input uh, positive value so to do that we need to uh, get our input values it's from here I I move so it returns this uh, x value and y value uh, we need to get the uh, absolute value and then let's uh, add them and if this uh, added value is uh, greater than zero uh, we can uh, rotate our character according to our control rotation let's add a branch node and connect this to set the rotation so let's try yeah uh, now we can uh, move our character to left side, right side and backwards so, but uh, still we cannot uh, use walk animation to do that uh, so let's make our character movements uh, max walk speed as 200 and let's create an input for running as action mappings 
closing run and lift shift and then uh, let's add this toggle run action here and if it is uh, pressed uh, we need to run and if it is uh, released we need to work again so only thing we need to do uh, we need to change the max work speed of the character movement set max work speed let's duplicate it all. and when uh, shift is pressed uh, this should be uh, 500 and when it is re uh, released it should be 200 yeah uh, character is not rotating what is this you we didn't connect this delta seconds to here so we need to connect and uh, let's add the intep speed like 5 yeah uh, now character can walk and while he is walking if we press shift key he starts running and if we release shift key uh, he stopped running and started to walking and we can walk left and walk right and walk back and run left run right run back yeah so we have created this uh, locomotion system with mixamo animations so that's it for today guys so thank you for watching